What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. For those who are new here, hello and welcome. And for all of my returning subscribers, hey. So today we are doing the long-awaited <laughs> lock update. So I officially turned three years locked back in September. And I haven't really been doing too much like interaction as far as like, you know, sharing what I'm doing, etc. You guys have been asking for this. I hear y'all, I see y'all, and here we are. So like I said, I turned three years locked back in September. Honestly, I wasn't sure how I wanted to go about this video because truth be told, I don't really do too much of anything different. So really it's just kind of like a show and tell. So first line of business is showing you guys my length. All right, so now we can talk about products. So as far as um, my regimen, so I typically wash my hair anywhere between every three weeks, or I would say anywhere between every two weeks to four weeks. It depends on my level of activity. During the summer, obviously I'm sweating a lot more. I swim, I'm you know, just doing a lot more outside. And so in that case, I definitely bump my washes up to every two weeks. Um, in the winter time, my hair is a little bit more dry. I don't do as much like strenuous activity. So I'm not sweating as much. So I am able to stretch my washes out to close, closer to four weeks. So in the summertime, I actually don't bother to retwist my hair as much because like I said, I like to go swimming and to retwist my hair once a week or however often I'm swimming, it's, it's kind of a waste of time. So I'll go on ahead and put a picture up on the screen so you guys can see like kind of what my hair typically looks like in the summertime when I'm not necessarily retwisting at the root every single time, more so focusing on just keeping my hair clean, keeping my hair moisturized. Um, I definitely have been incorporating more deep conditioners in my regimen as of recently with keeping the mindfulness of making sure that I'm doing a thorough rinsing of that set conditioner at the end of my, you know, treatment. So as far as products are concerned, as of recently, I have been using more bar soaps to keep my locks clean. And then I go in with like more of a moisturizing shampoo. I'll link everything that I use down in the description below, but for the most part, like not much has changed. Like I said, like I don't put too much emphasis on products because I feel like that's really the whole point of being locked. Like the whole point of being locked is to be minimalistic in your approach, at least as far as I'm concerned. For me, my whole point of being locked was to do as little as possible to my hair and to have minimal manipulation, minimal product, et cetera, et cetera. There are some products that I have had in my stash for well over the three year course that I have been growing my locks out. And like I said, I don't really think too much about what am I going to use? What am I going to do? Da, 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 da. Like, you know, I wash my hair, I condition my hair, I put oil on my hair. And whenever I'm retwisting it, obviously I use something just to make sure that the twists last a decent amount of time. For the most part, I really, really enjoy Talia Wajid's 
uh, product line. I really love Miel Organics. Um, there's Allocate Naturals, if you guys have been on my channel before, as far as locks are concerned. That is an oil that I really, really enjoy. They have a specific lock oil, which is amazing. As for right now, I'm not using that oil, but I'm just using up things that I have in my collection that I know for a fact will be water soluble, meaning that they will rinse out of my hair really nicely. They won't cause any buildup, etc. So as far as my regimen during the winter, um, like I said, I don't wash as frequently during the winter time, but like I already mentioned, I'm also making sure that I'm deep conditioning a lot more. So last winter, I want to say it was maybe like last fall, I decided to do like a slight trim of my locks because something that I noticed like as I'm getting good length and everything like that. I'm sorry if I'm like, I'm looking at myself. But um, as I'm getting more length, um, I find that the hair that just wasn't exactly like, you know, super curly or anything, it just doesn't fit with the overall aesthetic. So I'm slowly trimming that away, which, you know, it kind of makes me sad because as you can see, like as far as the color is concerned, that's where a majority of my color lies. But I also want to make sure that my hair is like really, really healthy. So I'll give you a good example. This is one of my locks that has um, a good bit of like the hair that wasn't as curly and textured in there. And as you can see, it's just like really... Like, so we have all of this like beautiful locked hair and then like it gets really, really thin and it just feels really bad if I'm being honest. Like when I run my fingers through it, like that's typically a lock or a point that I would just go on ahead and trim away, which at some point I probably will do the same thing here. But all in all, for the most part, I did give myself a pretty good trim. And I got a majority of those like loose ends off. This is probably just one that, you know, that I missed. So we kind of talked a little bit about products. Like I said, I really, really enjoy the Talia Wajid brand because they are specifically made for natural and locked hair. Um, I like their tight grip locking gel, which is like what I use to refresh my twist. In the times that I don't do my own hair, I do have a loctician that I see. It is the original hairstylist that started my locks. I only see her. I was seeing another girl and she was really good and really nice, but I think our schedules just didn't align anymore. Um, but I ended up going back to the girl that initially started my locks and I feel like whatever she uses in my hair is definitely like, you know, it matches up nicely with what I like to do at home. What I like to do at home is use as minimal of product as possible because again, that water soluble aspect of locks and products, it has to, like it is essential. People that use waxes or uses like, you know, normal hair products that you would use like on natural, naturally curly hair or something like that. You don't want to use that mostly because a lot of those products have some sort of wax or silicone or something like that in it. And that can easily build up on your locks. I will say I went to my loctician. Um, I went back to my loctician while I was still pregnant. Or was I pregnant too? No. I'd had the baby already, but um, I went back to her and I did a deep cleanse. I did a lock detox. And in my almost three years that I've had my locks, it was the one and only detox that I've ever done. And she said that my locks were clean, immaculately clean, like no gunk, no ultra, like a lot of buildup or anything, which has been intentional on my part. Like I don't like the idea of build up. Like I don't put a whole lot of oil in my hair. Usually like I just put oil in it like after the initial wash and that's it. Like 
I don't put any more oil or any type of product in my hair after I do that first style, that first re-twist after I shampoo. And that's how I maintain my hair and that's how I'm able to get away with, you know, not having to do detoxes all Let's time. talk about, you know, what has happened with my hair in the past year. So, like I mentioned, I was pregnant last year. My baby is now 10 months old and some people consistently experience postpartum shedding. I never experienced that with any of my previous children. So like, as far as that was concerned, that wasn't really a worry of mine. However, I did end up experiencing some postpartum shedding, mostly like, obviously like around the hairline area. I will make sure to, you know, share some pictures of like maybe what that ended up looking like for me. But right now I am on the mend. My, my hair has been a lot healthier. It is now healing and therefore it is growing in. So today my hair is like freshly retwisted like I literally did it earlier. So you can't really tell, you can't really clock me like that other than, you know, the little baby hairs that I decided to lay down. But um, maybe you can see if I get a little bit closer. Let me see if... If I can show you, like you can almost see where it was a little thinner and now it's growing back in. So here is a good indication of where it was getting a little bit thinner and then now it's starting to grow back in. So I'm able to like, you know, get those little hairs wrapped around my lock again but it really, really affected like, you know, all of this area, which is why I just decided to, instead of trying to slick everything up into a lock right now, like, you know, I don't, I don't mind just pulling down some baby hairs. And then as for the hair on the side of my temples, um, this shed the absolute most. And honestly, like I still have like somewhat of like a thin area there which I'm not tripping about like for the most part I don't I don't like for my hair to be like super duper crisp and you know super well groomed just that first week after a re a retwist it's like somewhat maintained <laughs> but like I like for my hair to like have some some bounce some fullness even up top near the you know near the scalp because I don't like seeing my scalp because it's really white <laughs> all right so we discussed product we discussed how frequently i washed we discussed postpartum shedding as far as um how i'm wrapping my hair let's talk about that so more recently because i've had that postpartum shedding i double wrap my hair so i will put a silk scarf on just to like hold on or hold down that area up top here and then I will put the bonnet on the rest on the days or before postpartum shedding was even an issue I would just normally stick my bonnet on nothing more like you know I just keep things ultra regular um, I have been playing around with a little bit of styling I'll show some pictures um, I've done excuse me I've done a little bit of up styling and mostly my favorite style my go-to style is definitely like the twists like ropes you know lock ropes or whatever to me like that's probably the most that I'll do for the most part like I didn't enjoy wearing my hair up I like to get easy access to my scalp and then also it's just my hair is really really heavy like i have a lot of hair just in general so that's why like the postpartum shedding to me like girl bye like i got a lot of hair so it wasn't a big deal to me i just hated it mostly because it was just like smack dab in the front and i was having to like you know 
zhuzh it up whenever I was going places. But truth be told, where the hell am I going? Because I got a brand new baby at home. Like I'm not going too many too many places. So um, yeah, as far as styling is concerned, whenever I retwist it myself, I don't do anything. I have pulled it up like up in a bun, like maybe once. But for the most part, when I go see a loctician, I just have her do the ropes because it's still low manipulation, it's down, and then it's like a two for one situation. So I get the ropes and then I take them out and my hair is like kind of wavy and full and cute and whatever. All right, you guys, so that is it for this video. Hopefully this informed you on the up and up as far as my locks are concerned. Like I said, I keep it really low key, so sorry i didn't share more if you have more specific questions i would love to answer those for you down in the comment section below i know a lot of you have been asking as far as like you know what's going on what's the update da 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 there really isn't too much of an update <laughs> unfortunately like if you follow me on instagram you see photos periodically but you know the truth is like I'm just not doing too much like I'm keeping it really really chill it has been a godsend for me to finally you know have my locks and like you know seeing them grow at the rate that they have grown especially during my pregnancy obviously that has been the key for me to like my growth as of recently like my hair, what it started at, at the beginning of my pregnancy versus now, it's all due to prenatal vitamins and like just really taking good, good care of myself. Even up until now, I'm still nursing. So I'm drinking an immense amount of water. I'm still taking like vitamins and iron and all of these things. And I try to keep a well-balanced diet. So that for the most part is like why my hair is growing. But if you guys, like I said, if you have more questions, I'd love to answer them down in the comment section below. If you guys want a more detailed video answering those questions that you leave down below, definitely let me know. I would love to share. I don't mind doing these videos. It's just super easy. Um, what I would recommend for everybody thinking about getting locks, go for it. Like if it's something that you want to do, do it. Like, don't be swayed or bothered by anybody else's opinion. Don't even be swayed by anybody else's journey because the thing is this, it is yours, honey. It ain't nobody else's journey but your own. Be prepared to really, really challenge yourself in what you see as beauty. I will make sure that I leave um, a card or leave it down in the description box of my full playlist of my lock videos so you can get some extra encouragement because I felt very strong about, you know, people going for what it is that they want back then. And it's the same now. The advice has not changed. So I wish you all health, wealth, and prosperity. I thank you all so much for coming here. And until the next time, peace out.